first they say the Quran is a miracle. Mm-hmm. First they say the Quran is a miracle. And then when you say, when you reject their hadith, right, they say, how did the Quran come to you then? Well, so where's the miracle gone now? So whoever does this hypocrite shahada is a liar. God is, con- God is bearing witness to that. This hadith culture was invented to mislead mankind from the straight path mm. by Satan. So the hadith not, not were inventions of Satan to mislead Muslims. Yeah, it's been inspired by Satan. Hello, everyone. This is your boy, JC. Once again, uh, bringing you a, a live show. Today, we have um, a, a, a friend of ours who appeared in Soko. He actually debated hijab um, a few few months ago, and you can actually see his debate. Um, the notification button should be appearing soon. And so we have invited our good friend. Is it Said or Siad? How how would you like me to? Siad. Siad. Okay, cool. Call me Ziad. But you can call me Zed. That's uh, my nickname. Zed. Cool. Zed. Siad. Cool. All right. Cool. If I if I if I forget Zed, I will probably call you Siad or or vice versa. Yeah. No problem. Okay, cool. So, family, we um, the reason why we invited a um, um, friend, uh, Siad, is because the, it, it appears that there seems to be a trend within the Muslim community um, in that, you know, some Muslims are becoming Quran only. And so there seems to be a trend where, um, I don't want to be unfair to describe this, but um, it would appear that um, some Muslims, not all, but some Muslims <coughs> sort of detach themselves from from what you call um, Islamic traditions. So that would obviously mean, you know, the Sunnah of the Prophet of Islam, um, you know, his sayings, his doings. So the purpose of this interview, uh, family, is to understand um, what it means to be a, a Quran-only Muslim so that we can have a, a better understanding of one another, of of, um, of sure. those Muslims that we are engaging with, so we can have a m- much more fruitful, um, you know, discussions and dialogues or debates with one another. Excellent. So. Sia, thank you very much. Say, Sia, thank you very much for coming, coming to the show. So yeah, let's start. Thanks. Let's start with it. With a, um, were you always say a Quran only Muslim, Said? Or yeah. Firstly, I want to say thank you for inviting me, um, Sako. Yeah. And um, I do appreciate uh, you uh, calling me on your show uh, to have a uh, discussion in regards to why I'm I'm Quran only. Um, I've been a Sunni all my life, uh, Sako. Okay. Um, since I was born right here, um, I inherited this religion. Like most people in this world right here, they are born into some kind of a religion mm. or, or, or concept or an idea um, which uh, they adopt to it right here uh, mm. because their parents followed it or their society or any, any, anything right here that is indoctrinated from a very young age, uh, uh, most cases, a person will become become just that. So, uh, especially in case of religions. So, if uh, someone is born in a Christian uh, family, right here, mm-hmm. uh, they will. Chances are the children will be Christians too. Uh, if they're born in a Muslim family, the children will be Muslims. Uh, if you're born in a Hindu family, the chances are the the, the children will also inherit that religion. So, uh, the religion is uh, is. Uh, in my um, my understanding, is that it's inherited. So Sunnism was inherited to me when I was born because my father was a Sunni, my my grandfather was a Sunni. But um, you see, uh, when uh, when we are born, Soko, um, according to the teaching of Islam, when we are born, right? Yeah, we have no knowledge. Mm. We come out from our mother's womb, right? Yeah, not knowing anything. So you see, we are, um, through our senses, eyes, ears, uh, and all the other senses, we are experiencing the world around us through our consciousness. And that consciousness becomes uh, filled up with ideas and thoughts and, and, and feelings and experiences right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, of, then that person becomes uh, some kind of... a. Um, he, he, he has an identity, you know? So right. that identity is not always the case, right? Here. That the identity that he's op- opted, right? Yeah, based on his experiences, right? Yeah, is always going to be true. Right. Do you agree with that, Sarko? So this is what we say, right? Yeah, that Islam, yeah, the truth of God, right? Yeah, is for each individual, every single person who's born in this world, right? Yeah, has to search for God himself. Sure. I agree with that. So, 
we cannot be uh, following uh, our forefathers. This is what God keeps saying in the book, right? Yeah, they, they, they follow their forefathers, right? And they follow what, what they, uh, the predecessors followed, right? Yeah, even mm -hmm. if they were wrong, even if are you still going to follow them, even if they were wrong? Mm -hmm. So God is God is giving us uh, an opportunity that we've given you eyes, ears, and intellect. Everyone is unique. Everyone has been given the uh, intelligence to uh, to to search for God Himself. What sort of things, for example, um, that you you found in the Sunnah, which perhaps made you think, hold on a second, this this can't be right. Well, basically, right, yeah. When the moment you start reasoning with yourself, right, yeah, yeah, that's 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 the time when you want to understand something right yeah in, in a bigger bigger picture right yeah you want to you want to know more about because that, that can only happen once you start reasoning the moment when you start reasoning with mm -hmm. yourself right because this is what when when we reason with ourselves so far, right yeah that is god uh, communicating with us we might not even understand why but it's 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 uh, because we have the spirit of god within all of us Mm -hmm. And this is this is uh, but what 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 happens is right yeah that when when we are indoctrinated with uh, clouded thoughts and ideas and 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 you know what we believe right yeah it, you know we go we become uh, we end up becoming dark within us because it's 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 uh, it's clouded with all other ideas and thoughts. Once you remove all the pre thought ideas we had from before, right? Then the clarity starts to come in. Right, but that's only uh, will have that will only happen right at the moment you have decided to to actually reason and to study for yourself right yeah and search for God yourself because if you truly search for the true God right yeah he will he will find you you know what I mean uh, uh, and and that spirit yeah uh, that lightens up in within us and that which God calls the light. So you are you suggesting that Sunni Muslims are being dark are being darkening darkened? By, yes, the, dark, by the yeah. things that they read okay give us one example yeah. for uh please uh, say say excuse me well uh because what, like i said uh, i mean what i what i want to uh, uh elaborate first right yeah is yeah. that this sunnism right yeah is not the true religion mm -hmm. why it, it, it was never a true religion why because this this concept came 200 and 300 years after death of the prophet right yeah peace be upon him mm -hmm. prophet peace be upon him was grown only muslim he, he never called himself a Sunni. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone who can reason and say, look, hang on, why are we calling ourselves Sunni? Why are we calling ourselves Shia? Why are we calling ourselves this and that? Mm -hmm. When God clearly says in the, in, in the verse, right, yeah, that he was not in any sect. And don't you be in any sect. Sect is right, yeah, is that when you take another religion, right, away from the truth. So when you when you turn away from the truth, right? Yeah, you're gonna become a sect. Mm -hmm. You're gonna become another religion, which is nothing to do with God. Right? So you so it's you're saying that the Prophet of Islam was against mm -hmm. creating sects, and yes, yes, only, yeah, it, was, he, it was only a Quran only Muslim. That's what you're saying. Yes, he, he, but but then when, God, when 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 we speak to the likes of um you know the likes of Shamsi. Or the likes of yeah. Muhammad Hijab, for example. So, like I said, but follow, right, yeah, but, but following the Prophet, you are essentially yeah. following the su his Sunnah. That's the argument. Yeah, yeah. How will you respond yeah. to that, uh, Said? Uh, yeah, first of all, right, yeah, there is no such thing as Sunnah of the Prophet in the Quran. There is Sunnah, but the Sunnah of God, mm. the way of God. Mm -hmm. He was following the way of God. He never said to follow the way of the Prophet, right? Uh, but when and, it says follow me, that it, it, doesn't that mean follow, you know, follow his sayings, follow his teachings? No, no. What does, it, what does it mean? What does it mean for, for the for the audience? What does it mean yeah, when yeah. when the God of Islam says, um, "Obey me and obey the Prophet"? Yeah. When when God mm. says obey God and obey the Messenger, right? Yeah. Yeah. What it's already in the in the book. The obeying commandments are all already in the book. More than three, uh, nearly three hundred times. There's the obeying commandments in the book. Now you see what yeah you see Quran. Mm -hmm. It's not because the Sunni say the Quran is a speech of of God yeah and the Hadith is a speech of Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mm -hmm. heard this claim right? Yeah? yeah. Well, you see this right? Yeah? This is a false claim because what it is right? Yeah, mm -hmm. there's saying there there's the speech of God. Mm -hmm. There's speech of messengers. There's speech of prophets. 
the speech of uh, um, uh, angels, Angel. angel there's a speech of Satan, the okay. speech of the ant, there's a speech of Queen Sheba, the speech of Pharaoh, mm. the speech of hypocrites, the speech of liars, the speech Many characters. of uh, believers. Mm -hmm. This is a narration being narrated by the Holy Spirit, Jabril, by Gabriel, the one that Jesus uh, uh, was supported with. Mm -hmm. So you see this spirit has, has, is narrating the Quran yeah. by the permission of God, which is the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the messenger. Mm -hmm. You see, people don't understand this. When you read the Quran, right, yeah, when God says, right, yeah, kul, say, kul means to say. So mm -hmm. when they were asking certain questions to the messenger, direct prophet, yeah, of mm -hmm. God, because they're asking him, right, yeah, I'll give you a, a, a verse, right, yeah, as an example, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when they were saying to, uh, when they asked prophet, any questions regarding the, the, the judgment in the mm. book, God is telling the messenger, a prophet, Muhammad, yeah. to say, kul, say. And that kul say is said by Jibreel, the, the, the Holy Spirit, is telling him to say. Mm -hmm. So when, when uh, he responds back to the people, whatever the question they're asking in regards to the, the deen, the, the judgment of God, it's already in the book. He was only reciting back to them from the book. This is how you obey the messenger. So when they, when, when he, when he clarified to them from the book, right here, yeah, God expects the people to obey him now. Obey what he just said from the book. Mm -hmm. And if you obey him, you have obeyed God. I'll give you one example. Right here, one second. You can talk in the meantime. Yeah, let me just find you a verse. So when the likes of Shamsi and the likes of Hijab. Um, yeah, argue all, that by obeying yeah. the messenger, you are effectively um, obeying his sunnah, <laughs> right? So yeah, is, uh, you're, say, you're saying that's wrong because the, the wrong. prophet of Islam did not, um, let's say, ordered the compilation of, 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 his, of his hadith. Um, no, no, no. He didn't order the, the creation of, 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 the, of all of these sayings after, the, um, after his death. That's what you're saying. Yes, 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 of course, absolutely right, yeah. Now, I'll give you just one example, right, yeah? Yeah. Right, for example, the surah, um, if you go to, if I go to surah Bakra, yeah. uh, verse 219, right, yeah, you'll come to know, right, yeah, what is it that is being said here, right, yeah? Okay. And it says, it goes like this, they ask you about wine and gambling. Mm -hmm. In the verse, they is the third person saying, third person saying, they ask you, about wine and gambling. Kul, say. In them is great sin, right? And benefit for people. But their sin is greater than their benefits. And they ask you, meaning they're asking the prophet, what they should spend. The excess beyond need, right? Mm -hmm. and, and God makes clear to you the verses that you might give thought. So after he said that, then he's saying that God makes it clear to you from the verses. He's telling the people. So now if they, if they said, well, right, yeah, I'll give you one more example. Right, yeah. So basically, we, we, uh, just for the audience to, um, to understand what's going on. So essentially what you are arguing is that the Quran is clear guidance. It's a complete, it has clear complete, guidance. it's clear guidance, which means that there's, there's no need to have secondary uh, literature. Yeah. To, that's to, right to understand the prophet and he's saying okay yeah yeah so right. basically what, what what i've just said right here is that um there's more than there's nearly two uh there's nearly 300 times here so called mm -hmm. the order of the messenger yeah the order of the, the messenger order. that is the order from god through the holy spirit yeah to the messenger because okay. whenever the, whenever people are asking directly to, they're not asking directly to God. If they ask directly to God, the answer will be found in the book. But okay. because they are asking him directly right here, mm -hmm. so God is saying, "Cool, say." They ask you this. God already knows they're going to ask him that. Mm -hmm. This is why this book has already been decreed. Okay. What would people say? But this is not for. A past uh, uh, um, it's not about the past anymore mm -hmm. this book this verse all the verses apply today as well 
Mm-hmm. So if they ask me right here, uh, for example, and they ask you about wine and gambling, mm-hmm. right? Now, the Quran clearly says right here what the Prophet had said mm-hmm. in regards to wine and gambling. Now, I can use that in our times right now and repeat it back to them by reading the verses to the people in my time, right? And give them the clarification what the book is saying. Yeah. So, so, so what it is right here is, is they are supposed to be, th- these are all the orders of, the, of, the, of, of Gabriel, the Holy mm. Spirit is giving the order. Prophet is only repeating back what the same, uh, uh, same um, commandments already in the book. Mm-hmm. So this now applies for all times, Sokol. Mm-hmm. Right. This is what the mainstream Muslim do not want to uh, um, understand, mm-hmm. right? Because majority of them are not doing it deliberately, right? Majority of the people right here, or mm-hmm. uh, whatever billion Muslims they are right here, ninety percent of the world population are completely unaware of it, mm-hmm. right? And if the scholars uh, and these scholars they come out from a particular uh, school of thought. Mm-hmm. Right, one is a Sunni, one is a Shia, one is this, one is that, right? Yeah, and each each sect, right? Yeah, comes that from their particular school. Mm-hmm. God says that it is He who who has the best tafsir. Mm-hmm. So you don't need tafsir, basically. No, because if, if okay. God is saying that His His tafsir, His interpretation is the best interpretation, then why would you want to go to another interpretation when God says that He He explains yeah, it exactly better that, than anyone? As a Christian, I will see this as a contradiction. Because if the Quran, if Allah has already given you a book, which is obviously clear, clear guidance, um, but you know, if, even though it's clear guidance, you still need a tafsir to understand, you know, what 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 a specific uh, ayah is saying or surah is saying. So, is, no, do no, you no. see that as a contradiction? Yes, that's definitely a contradiction because God okay. says that He's the one who teaches the book. Yeah, God is saying that He teaches the book. No one can teach you the book. And God chooses from uh, among the people whom he wills. Mm. And he gives knowledge to whom he wills. Right, yeah? But okay. you see, the knowledge only comes to you right, yeah? once you remove all doubts from before. Right? Once, Because okay. God says God does not communicate with a human mm. except by inspiration or from behind a veil. Yeah. Right? Or he sends a messenger. There's three ways he, he does it. Mm. Through inspiration, from behind a veil, when he orders you to do something, when Kul say, when I just told you mm-hmm. about what Kul say is, the okay. messenger, when, when God is telling us to say, cool, say this to them, that is from behind the veil. That's a, that's a second way communication right here. Okay. And the third way right here, he, Allah says that he sends a messenger to reveal what he wants to, to, to get revealed to the people. You know okay. what I'm saying? So messenger of Muhammad was just a messenger at his time mm-hmm. clarifying the book. Mm-hmm. He was no more than that. He only came as a mercy to mankind to give them the book. Mm-hmm. Now, you see how many okay. contradictions are there in the, in the uh, hadith? Mm-hmm. Everything right here, yeah, the hadith culture believes, mm-hmm. is completely opposite to the book of God. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's innovation. So you basically it's say that the stories and the accounts... Opposite. Yeah, but what I'm saying to you, they say that we have to follow the Quran and the Sunnah, mm. if, and we don't. We are, we will only reject any hadith that contradicts the Quran. But every single Sahih hadith, Sahih, mm. right, is contradicting the book, and they still want to follow it. <laughs> give us an example. Uh, uh, I give an example like marriage, right? Okay. God says you cannot marry. You cannot marry someone right here yeah, until he he or she reaches the marriageable age, age, fully you know, fully grown. Then, not only that, God, God doesn't stop there. He goes that even if they are fully grown, they have to be mature mentally. So if someone could be a 40-year-old man, but if he's not mentally matured, he's still not ready to get married. And you get this it's information not, in the Quran, that she has to be yeah, mentally matured. You have to be physically grown up, mm-hmm. and then you have to be mentally matured. So you don't believe that uh, he, he married a, uh, Aisha? No, 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 no. The age no, of no, nine, no, no, uh, no. Eight, six, and, and consummated the marriage no. at the age of nine. You don't believe it. Yeah. You, see, you see what, yeah? You see what I'm, what I'm suggesting here, right? Yeah? yeah. What I'm trying to say, people of the mainstream Muslim will not be able to understand, right? Yeah. And they will, they will, not, they will not accept what I'm saying, right? Mm. Uh, but they will also get angry with what I'm about to say, right? Yeah. I'm mm. saying that you see, the, you see the companions, the Prophet and his companions. Mm. 
have been attributed by uh, uh, by the the same people who were the enemies who were fighting the prophet of god and his companions these are the same people who have come back into power mm. after the death of the prophet do you believe that mecca is the oldest city in the world what is right the mecca now right the mecca now right yeah uh, has uh what why god is saying the word mecca Mm. Everything that's taking place there, in my understanding, right here, from my understanding, mm. the place is correct, but the, the 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 acts that are taking place there, right, here, are not correct. This is why God says, right, they are not the guardians of the house of God. It's for all times now. He said it, meaning that God is saying, do not make us, do not associate with him, because that it was the first house where Ibrahim was given the government, right here. Yeah? And where and he built it as well, and Ibrahim. No, built he never it. built it. He, you know, I, I, built you don't it. believe that he never built it. No, 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 no. It, okay. it was never built. It. The foundation of the religion was built there in that spot. Okay. The foundation, the 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 foundation of the the one monotheism was built for by by uh, him, but the house was always always there. The mm -hmm. house, there's there's a rock there, right? Yeah, that comes yeah. out. Okay. But no one really knows uh, what. Uh, because it's been surrounded right here. Yeah? No one really knows what's happening in there. But but, but mm. there, there, there is there is a... a, a, do, a do, 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 you think, do you think what they're doing is, is somewhat um, un-Quran, un-Quranic? So yes, when I yes, mean, it is. When I mean circling the Kaaba and, and yeah, touching uh, the stone, uh, kissing it, do you think that's something that, that stone, you can find in the Quran? This, 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 or do you this think that this is like a pagan practice? Addition. This is a pagan practice that's come back, mm. right? And it's going to continue until the end times, right? Yeah. So, but God said they are who believers are. They are believers who go there, right? Believers will go there, but majority will will be disbelievers in there, right? Meaning that they're this doing they're doing the idol practice, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, right? They said right here yeah, that uh, the reason why they kiss the stone, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. is because Omar, Omar, the the the, the Sahaba, uh, Omar mm -hmm. said right here yeah, that. I I do not, I do not kiss this black stone. I would not, uh, this black stone does not benefit me or harm me, right? I only, I only did it because I saw the prophet. Because it. I saw the prophet did it. Mm. So what are you trying to say? Look at the, look at the contradiction there. Mm. He just said right here that I do not kiss the black stone, right? Because it doesn't give me benefit or harm. Mm. But I kissed it because prophet kissed it. So but now you're saying right here. So if you just said, you just said yourself that it doesn't benefit you, nor does it harm you, mm. but you but are you kissing did. it because prophet kissed it. So are you trying to say, right, yeah, that it did benefit the prophet? This is why he kissed it? Right. Why would prophet kiss it then? You mm. see the contradiction? You see when you use your intellect, right, you know that's false. Right. I don't need to read a book, right, yeah, for, for me to understand that that, that right. is false. The, the contradiction has already come out. The statement he just said. Because why would the prophet kiss it then? If it doesn't benefit you or it doesn't harm you, right? Yeah? So if prophet kissed it, this was already practiced right here mm. or, or in a, a pagan time before prophet became the prophet they were yeah. already doing that yeah 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 right? so, they, I, so, I, I, so i are you suggesting then as uh, uh, uh sia that you don't that as a quran only muslim is it fair to say that you don't follow the five pillars because you are essentially there is no five pillars. that the hash actually you don't believe in the five pillars of islam no no not their version of five pillars right you see when, when so what's when the quran one Quran only Muslim version of the five pillars, so we understand. There, there, there is no five pillars. What it is right here, God is saying right here, follow the uh, follow God and His Messenger from mm. the book, right? Mm. And He uh, and God is telling us right here how you become a Muslim. They say mm. you for you to become a Muslim, yeah, right? You have to do a shahada, yeah. Mm. You have to go to the mosque. Do the shahada. <laughs> yeah. This is what they say, yeah? Right, yeah. The reason why they say that, as soon as, because uh, there are so many uh, good people right here yeah, who read the Quran, right, yeah? Yeah. With that hadith, and they decided to become Muslim because the, the book guided them. Right. But what happens is, right, yeah, after, because they don't know, right, yeah, they now think, right, yeah, oh, okay, uh, I've, I've decided to become a Muslim, so right. I'm going to have to go to the mosque, right, yeah, for me to become official Muslim. Okay. You are already official Muslim once you, when, once you believed in the book of God. Even if you was in the in the uh, upstairs in, in, in the in the closet reading it yeah. by, all by yourself, okay, you, you you was already guided. So are you are you, you suggesting? Are, are you telling us that you don't really need to to take to say the shahada? 
in no, order to become a Muslim. Like when, yeah, because all you need is a book to be living, and that's it. So according to as, it, as a Quran only Muslim, and then you, you don't need Shahada. Way, you don't no, need Hajj. No, all, all you have to say is this. Five prayers. I, I, have, I, have, I have believed in Allah, and I submit to the Lord of the worlds. You become a Muslim. And Abraham his messenger or just Allah? Do you huh? say, I submit to the will of, of, of Allah and, and the messenger, or you exclude no, the no, messenger no. from that proclamation? No, no. You just say that I, I submit to the Lord of the words. Okay. I, I submit to the Lord of the words. Worlds. If you say, I submit to you, God, you, yeah. Why, yeah? you, you become automatically, a okay, automatically. You automatically become Muslim. It doesn't need, you don't need a third party, right? Yeah? yeah. Third party is, is the association. That's the association comes in. So these five God pillars are, are, are you saying that the five pillars are, are innovation? Yeah, innovation. Because look, okay. what, what I'm saying to you, they say, they say shahada, there's a hypocrite shahada, right? Let me give you a verse, right? Yeah, I'll tell you that's a hypocrite shahada, yeah? So I'll give you a verse, right? Uh, 63, one. This is a hypocrite shahada. This will prove why their shahada is wrong. Okay. When the hypocrites come to you, meaning they come to the prophet, they say, we surely testify that you are a messenger of God. Mm. And God knows you are his messenger. And God surely testifies that the hypocrites are liars. So whoever does this hypocrite shahada is a liar. God is, God is bearing witness to that. Mm -hmm. But God is saying that there are some from the people who, who buy, who, who purchase diverted hadith. Mm -hmm. to, to, to lead you away from the straight path okay. and to make a mockery, to make a mockery of the Quran. So the Sunnah, because so the Hadith makes a mockery of the Quran. Quran is, uh, has prophesied it. Right. So all the See? sayings that you find in the Hadith, Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, yeah. they just God corrupt is calling the message that of the diverted Quran. Hadith. God is calling that diverted Hadith. Diverted Hadith. Okay, which is corrupting the main is, message of, of the Quran, found yes. in the Quran. Yeah, so God is saying right here yeah, that they, they are some from the people, meaning the Sunnis and Shias and other mm -hmm. sect right here, yeah, that purchase, they purchase meaning that they put their whole life in believing in that. They purchase for this life uh, instead of the life of the hereafter. Yeah. They, they purchased for it a cheap price. Mm. A cheap price, yeah, and di by purchasing diverted hadith, to mislead from the path of God straight and to make a mockery. Right. And they make their livelihood with it. They make their livelihood with it. This is why these scholars are so rich. So if you're a Sunni, I know it's going to be a lot of Sunnis uh, watching this video. If you're a Sunni <laughs> and if you feel that uh, our friend uh, Saeed has mis misrepresented um, uh, the, the Islamic faith, if you feel that maybe he should be corrected, and if you wish to maybe join us, on a live discussion, I will, you know, yes. have a, our email, I will have an email, uh, our email to contact us. Um, yes. And then yes, we can, so I'll be more perfect. than happy to, yeah, moderate it. And I'll be more it. than happy to discuss because I want to discuss yep. it with, uh, with scholars, right? Yeah. Who claim to have knowledge, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because my, my knowledge comes from the book of God, right? And truth, yeah, is nothing is beyond the truth. Mm. Because if something is truth, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter how you try to defeat defeat it. You cannot defeat truth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Truth is a truth. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is the only thing we have in this world, right? Yeah, we have to be truthful with ourselves, right? Yeah, and to others. You know what I'm saying? And the truth, yeah, will set us free. Amen. Right? You know amen. What I'm saying? The more you twist it, right? Yeah? yeah. The more you try to twist with the truth, yeah, it twists. It would twist them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would twist them and sure. it will it will not help them. So just to wrap up on a on a sort of on a good on a what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, on a good note. Um, what type of advice would you give them um to those watching watching this video at the moment? Those uh, obviously those those Sunni Sunni Muslim brothers of yours. What the would you like advice to that I can give them right here yeah, is that, that we are now living in a information age. This is the this is the the plan of God. Because remember, the truth, yeah, is hidden for a short period of time. Mm. Whether it's uh, uh, 200 years, uh, uh, hidden for 200 years, 2,000 years, 4,000 years, right? Eventually, truth will come out. Mm. So when truth comes out, right, yeah, people start thinking, right, it's your own invention. You made this up. 
but it's not the fact it's not the it's not the case truth has just started to surface back up mm -hmm. right and you have to investigate for yourself right yeah before before you die because remember god is saying that make sure you do not die except the muslim except submitting to the verses of allah so what i'm saying the advice i can give them right yeah is that at least right here, yeah, if you are, want to remain a Sunni, if you want to remain in your, in your belief right here, yeah, but for once in your whole life, once, yeah, just read the book right here yeah, without any bias, without any bias, as if you are reading the Quran for the first time. And the Quran has already been confirmed right here, yeah, that Quran can only be understood in your own language, in your own mother tongue. All languages are from God. All culture is, culture is from God. God is saying the Quran, the reason why Quran is in Arabic is because it's a detailed language, yeah? It compresses all the verses of God into 114 channels. No other language can do that. But God is saying, right, yeah? That, but it has to be trans, uh, understood in your mother tongue. That's the only way you'll understand the message, right? Yeah? And that, once, once that has been understood in your mother tongue, God is saying that is the Arabic. That is the Arabic. It becomes the Arabic. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the whole purpose for us to understand the Quran, right, yeah, is to get the essence of the spirit, mm -hmm. of the knowledge of God, right? And what is it that the true essence of the true knowledge? Not, not, not interpretations of tafsirs of, of you know, uh, Ibn Majah, this, that, all these names they come up with, right, yeah? You know, they're writing, they are not from, from God. I'm saying that they need to understand the Quran for themselves, read it for themselves at least once. Right? Mm -hmm. Then go back to wherever they want to believe. Right? But remember, if you want guidance, you have to come to the book of God alone. Mm -hmm. You can't have nothing with you. You so have to leave all the, baggage, all the baggages behind you. Right? Then the message will be clarified to you. Otherwise, there's no point. Don't bother coming to the book right? if you're going to have pre-thought ideas right, of what you think Islam is. You know what I'm saying? So when when Allah when when they try to deceive God, they yeah, I believe in Quran, brav, I believe in Quran, right? Yeah? You know what I mean? Yeah, Quran is number one. This is what the hadith law say. Quran is number yeah. one. But God knows that they are disbelievers, right? Yeah, who say that. Yeah. They don't truly believe because as soon as they say, right, yeah, but how did the Quran come to you? Right? Mm -hmm. how, uh, uh, how did the Quran come to you? The sahabas came. The, because of the sahabas, you have the Quran. First, they say the Quran is a miracle. Mm -hmm. First, they say the Quran is a miracle. And then, when you say, when you reject their hadith, right, they say, how did the Quran come to you then? Well, so where's the miracle gone now? You just said there's a miracle, right? Yeah? So mm -hmm. now, all of a sudden, yeah, you, you want to fire back. Yeah? You want to say, oh, how did the Quran come to you, right? Mm -hmm. So that means you had doubts all along. You know what I'm saying? So, so you see, deep down, right, yeah, they don't truly believe, right, yeah, because they have other books that they believe in, whether they know it or they don't know it. This is what I want to I want to help the, the Sunni brothers and sisters right here. Yeah? Who don't know any yeah. knowledge of it. Because mm. everything the Prophet would do, right? Yeah, would, he, he, he would do it from what the book says. Mm. So where, even if he made his own authenticated hadith, right, yeah, it would not be the hadith that they have. Mm. It's going to be completely different. Because it's going came, to be matching the Quran. It's going to be matching the Quran. Guarantee he, you. He came, he came 200 years later and it was written by people who, who never met no, the but Prophet. Even, but even in the hadith, why right, there's, yeah. there's, 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 there's a there's one uh, uh, narration where pro, uh, they said the prophet said, right, do not write any hadith. Yeah. Do not write any hadith, right? Yeah. And then why are you not accepting that? Mm. You want to accept uh, the, the other one? Oh, okay, when he died, yeah, they, they did uh, uh, a certain time he said, okay, write the hadith. But mm. can I just say one more thing, right? Yeah, I can I yeah. can destroy the hadith right, right now, right? Yeah. Abu Huraira yeah. was gripped by Omar. He was what? Omar. He was gripped by Omar. Yeah. For writing false hadith. Mm. Making lies about the Prophet. And guess what? Even in their own hadith fire, Abu Huraira was gripped by, by Omar, the, the, the second best Sahaba in, uh, after the Prophet, the second mm. best Sahaba, gripped Omar and said, Raya, don't write any lies and, and, and you know, falsify the Prophet's uh, hadith. Right? So, there's a, and in, in the narration, it says, right, yeah, either the, uh, Umar, uh, you know, took him out from the land or he imprisoned him. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's another narration where he beat him up, right, yeah. But when Umar died, mm -hmm. when he got assassinated, he came back. Came back. Came back writing hadith. And now they're following all whatever he said is correct.
it's called uh, whatever Abu Hurairah said, yeah, let's let's you know what I mean. So he continue with, with, with this. So that nation. means the, yeah. the, the so that means right, you people yeah. have made Abu Huraira more superior than Umar. Mm. The, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm putting the question to these uh, Sunni believers. Yeah. That now you made Umar less important and you made Abu Huraira much higher. Much higher. Than him. So, so why do you think these were invented and written over time? See, evil, God said to Iblis here, uh, He said, Give me respite till the end times. Give me respite till the end times. Okay. And I will prove to you, I hear, that, you know, uh, I will misguide them all. Mm -hmm. So because he made a promise to God that by, because he took a might of Allah, that I will misguide them all. So give me the time, respite, till the end times. So you see that everything in this earth, right, yeah, has been given a particular uh, a time, yeah, right, mm. as a respite given to Satan. This is why there's evil uh, prevailing in this world, because of, because of, by the permission of God. So the, by, by the permission of God, Hadith were invented. The, by the permission of God, evil has prevailed. There's evil in this world. No, right? but I'm talking about why do you think hadith were invented? No, but this is what I'm trying to say, right? As, as, as a Quran only Muslim. What, what, because like, because God is saying that God is saying that they could not have done it if if it wasn't uh, if it wasn't because of the will of God. You think yeah, God couldn't stop uh, the Bible if it was false? You think God couldn't stop the Bible? You think God couldn't stop the Talmuds, the first hadith of the Jewish? They've, they've got even more hadith than the than the hadith of the Muslims. So they you don't think hadith. so you don't think that hadith were invented as a way to perhaps understand the religion no, better. They were invented to mislead understand the prophet right? better, understand no, Allah no, no, better. No. This this hadith culture was invented to mislead mankind from the straight path mm. by Satan. Just like all okay. other religions. Okay. It's just it's it's a it's a it's satanic plan. To yeah. mislead you to from mislead the same path. God is saying, what he's saying, this is why they say, oh, brother, you need hadith. You can't read the Quran. You need to know Arabic. You need to be a scholar. Mm. Why do you think they say that? Mm. Why is it that the most recited book in this entire universe, right, yeah, is Quran, but no one, under, but it's the least understood? Think about it, man. Use your logic and reasoning. Why is it that the Satan, because Satan doesn't want you to understand the book of God. Mm -hmm. Because if you do right, yeah, you're going to come to guidance. So the hadith not, not were inventions of Satan to mislead Muslims. Yeah, it's been inspired by Satan. Inspired by Satan to mislead Muslims. So And Talmuds. And Talmuds. And the Talmuds as well. Yeah, okay. and I'm sorry to say, well, I know you're a Christian, right, but uh, I'm, gonna have to, uh, I'm just and also the speaking Bible. the truth. Right, yeah? okay. And the Bible, and the Old Testament, right, yeah? Yeah. and the Bhagavad Gita, all man-made religions. Who write the books with their own hands and the we, we, will, we will have a we, we will have a chat next time on on the authenticity of the Bible. I, I, I would also have a, I would also like to have a chat with you um, whether the Quran teaches Tawhid as well. Um, we've we've uh, tried to uh, you know debate this with with the likes of Shamsi and and uh, okay. Dab. Why? Where did and they even? No, get no one's being from? able to take up the challenge. So every, if you like to maybe word. like without if you like to maybe come on, um, debate that. Um, so if you want to have yeah. a roundtable discussion as well, so the by only all means. trouble is right. You see the people from Hyde Park, yeah, Muhammad Ijabi, yeah, right, yeah, that tall guy, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, and that Shamsi, right, yeah. You see people like them, right, yeah, and Mansoor and 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 uh, uh, Hamza Den. I was actually actually in Hamza's Den show, right, yeah, the other yeah. day. Uh, Quran, Quran only part two. Okay. They were debating the Quran only, and, 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 and I rang, right, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I challenged them, right, but they, they cut me off. Oh really? Okay, they tend to do that, but we we don't we don't like to do this at, at Soko. So uh, all you guys, all you Muslims, all our Muslim friends that wants to maybe uh, yeah, because they get on board, they listen, debate they us. Argue. They you know, we, we, we're gonna drop our, our email on the description box, and um, yeah, we need to go now. We've been having a, we've yeah, yeah, very good, you. very good chat. The, uh, um, uh, Siat, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for you giving well, us um, you know a better understanding of, of what our Quran only Muslim means. Um, we obviously have more questions for, or we're, obviously we'd like to continue this conversation at some other time God and also really discuss, man, really. to be fair, you know, uh, we, we are happy to discuss any, um, any objections you have to the Bible, where they come with this authenticity, um, you know, we, you know, uh, errors, contradictions, we are happy to, to, uh, answer sure. them to you. 
on the same same style, same format, no problem. And um, and then yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you all for thank for, you, man. I appreciate for, it, man. You're very for, kind for man. watching this pre-recorded um, uh, interview. Yeah, thank yeah, you to our friend uh, Said. Like uh, Sia, we're gonna have his his, ch his channel link on the description box. So by all means, make sure you guys yeah. click on the link, subscribe, and follow follow his work. Definitely. And um, yeah, thank you thank all, you, and uh, hope to see Cheers, you man. hope to see you next time, Said. You as well, man. Take care, man.